Welcome to Bible Public Service, where ancient text is made young again. It's an honor to have you here today. The mission here is to make your life better and to help make Earth a little bit more like heaven. Today is about Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. So we already know that God created the heavens and the Earth. Many people know and understand that God made our Earth in six days, and He made everything logically in order, starting from gross, dense materials, beginning with the foundational aspects, and then building up thereafter. But what is so interesting is that before God actually makes anything, it already says that the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Note that it did not start out saying that God created the waters. This is something that is often overlooked, and we will benefit from taking a closer look. Now we know that in 1 John 5, 8, it says that the spirit and the water and the blood agree as one. So the water, spirit, and blood are the same thing. And we know at the very beginning, it says the spirit was hovering over the waters. And so it seems that the waters existed before the creation project. When the Holy Spirit manifests itself in pure form, in the dimension we're living in, we get pure water. Therefore, there was no need for God to create himself because he was already able to manifest himself through the means of the Holy Spirit in the form of water. So water pre-existed the creation project. The Holy Spirit was present. It was there hovering over the face of the deep. The waters were the Holy Spirit, and it's from this great mass of itself that creation started. Water is a very powerful substance. The earth is three quarters water. The human body is three quarters water. This relationship is no accident. We are microcosms of the macrocosm earth. Our bodies are literally full of the Holy Spirit. Looking back on our earlier text, it says spirit, blood, and water agree as one. So the water in our bodies, the blood in our bodies, and the spirit in our bodies is the same thing. We are literally full of the Holy Spirit. Because we are full of this holy substance that existed before the creation project, pure water. We know that priests use holy water in their modern rituals and ceremonies today. Water actually holds a charge. So whatever intention or thought you are thinking and directing at the water, it will actually hold and retain that concept. This is why it's very important to bless your food and drink before you eat. Because literally the things that you say over your water or your juice or whatever food you're eating that has liquid in it, you're putting a charge into it that will actually manifest whatever you are thinking or saying into your body. And this is the power of the spirit. And the more you believe, the more you will achieve. And we can further confirm, later on in 1 Corinthians, it even says that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit that is within us. But we wonder, how is the Holy Spirit within us? It starts at the fundamental level of water and blood. And then of course it branches and connects higher to God thereafter in the dimensions we cannot see. But here, it is so important to understand and respect that the water and the Holy Spirit agree as one. We don't see God saying, and God created water. No, the Holy Spirit was already there. And the Hebrew word actually says, resting over the waters. It just was. It was already present. These waters were deep and empty and desolate and full of the Holy Spirit. It was from that starting point creation started. It's commonly understood that God is light and this was before the creation of light. 
God's pre-existing state does not have to be in light as we know it. It actually says it was in the darkness. So darkness is not always a bad thing. It's a deeper and more pure state of God as compared to the light, which was actually created next, as we've come to know of it as the visible light we see today. So this verse helps us to understand the significance and the holiness of water and the great potential that lies within it. Have you noticed that when you drink more water, you feel better? This is no coincidence. Have you noticed that when you bathe in water or you shower, you always feel better? This is no coincidence. It's literally soaking in the Holy Spirit. God is so much closer to us than we are aware of, and He has many means by which He can be with, communicate, and comfort us. Have you noticed that when we smell, it goes away after we've cleansed ourselves in water? It removes impurities. It makes plants grow. There is life in the substance. Without water, everything dies. So I hope this will help you to think of water in a completely different way today. Drink more water, take more showers, enjoy hot baths full of Epsom salts, go to the ocean, splash in the waves, sit on the beach, and just listen to the waves. This is a wonderful way to directly experience God in the dimension He has given us here and now. So put down your soda and grab a glass of water. If you'd like to see more videos from this channel, you can click subscribe below. And when the website gets up and running, you can visit BiblePublicService.com. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time. God bless.